Good morning, everyone. My name is Paige Teller. I'm dual majoring in finance and business analytics and information systems, and I did my internship at Coastal Enterprise, Inc. CEI is a community development financial institution, which we just heard about from Christina, and it is also a community development corporation, which is a nonprofit organization that provides programs, offers services, and engages in other activities, such as affordable housing units, that promote and support community development. CEI targets rural Maine, but lends nationwide. CEI's mission guides our loan and investment decision making. CEI invests with the intention of achieving social, environmental, as well as financial returns. This makes up the triple bottom line of equity, economy, and environment. CEI reaches to obtain sustainable prosperity, and between sustainable prosperity and the current reality, we have this gap. So why do we have this gap? Underserved markets and populations are not able to open traditional small businesses, and this is for two reasons. The first is that they don't have the same access to money and knowledge, and that capital markets are hesitant to lend to startup companies because it's a riskier market to get into, and lend out small dollar loans because in the end it's not profitable for them. To fix this, CEI adopted seven strategic interventions of responding to and creating new markets and opportunities for Maine's economic development. There are nine targeted lending platforms in CEI, and during my internship, I worked in the microenterprise platform and analyzed their microloan portfolio. Microenterprise is a small business, and it makes up 95% of the 28 million U.S. companies. Microloans were created as a solution for impoverished borrowers in underdeveloped countries, and today they are still being used to create equal opportunities for underserved populations. So this leads into the question of how do we know we're making a difference? We can measure the outputs of our efforts through quantitative and qualitative data. Here, CEI strives for 80% of our loan portfolio to go to these targeted groups. We can see if we're working for measures such as making that 80% along with things like loans per year and delinquency and default rates. Now, it's very hard to measure long-term impact and to see if we're making a lasting difference in these communities. This big outcome is what I tried to address with my project with business survivability. I spent my eight weeks with CEI to better understand the question of whether or not our borrowers are better off after they received a loan. I reviewed 475 files dating back 10 years. One way I measured business survivability was I looked at the change in the household income from after they received their loan to see if it made a positive impact in their lives. I did this by looking through tax returns, investment memos, and I even conducted a survey of business owners. Then I analyzed the data and provided this information to the executives of the company. I concluded preliminary results, but ultimately this is gonna be an ongoing project. So everyone loves a success story. One of our CEI's borrowers is Paul Dobbins, who created Ocean Approved LLC, which is a kelp farm, and kelp is a type of seaweed, in coastal Maine. He is the first company in the United States to grow kelp, and is the only company in the world to sell frozen kelp as opposed to dried, reconstituted, or salted kelp. Ocean Approved has many institutional customers, with one of them being the University of New Hampshire. Thank you.